Ja, und ich bin's wieder, Kesula Haram. Hier mit meinem Let's Play von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Und auf die Gefahr hin, dass wir vielleicht äh, über die Investigation hinaus dann rein in die nächste Verhandlung schlittern, nehme ich diesen Part jetzt trotzdem in ja, gewohnter Länge auf. Und auf jeden Fall haben wir das letzte Mal herausgefunden, dass mit dem... dass der Beweis von wegen mit dem Voice Recorder alles nur, äh, dass das ein gefälschter Beweis war. Alles nur, damit hier Junipals Verdächtige dasteht. Nochmal zusätzlich. Alter. Aber jetzt unsere, unser Verdacht auf you und Juni. Bitte. Keine Lügen mehr. The voice in this recording has been proven to be yours, Juni. And in the mock trial video, we can hear you reading your line from the script. We're having both of them analyzed now, but from what I can tell, the voices are the same. And the only one who'd benefit from faking the voice recording would be you. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, you confessed in order to protect me. This may sound strange, but his confession is a ploy to make himself look less suspicious. In other words, he was just pretending to protect you. Besides, his confession came after you and Robin had already confessed. If he hadn't confessed right then as well, wouldn't that have seemed a little suspicious? Say what you will, Athena, but none of us would hurt a fly, let alone kill someone. You is a gifted student. He gets outstanding grades and never causes trouble. Aha! Also ist Mr. Perfect doch nicht so perfekt, wie sie jetzt versucht vorzugeben. Wait, Athena. My bracelet reacted just now. It did? But why? Junie, can you look me in the eye and repeat what you just said? Oh, um, none of us would hurt a fly, let alone kill someone. He is a gifted student. He gets outstanding grades and never causes trouble. Now I'm sure of it. She's lying. Okay, tut mir ja wirklich leid, Mädchen, aber die Lügerei muss endlich aufhören. So, wir gehen mal auf das schöne Ding. He gets outstanding grades. Aha! Der Schal bewegt sich. Und das soll jetzt nicht irgendwie heißen, von wegen, dass sie hier irgendwie telekinetische Kräfte hat, dass sich das Ding hier bewegt. Es ist einfach nur, sie hustet. Es ist halt ihr gewöhnlicher nervöser Husten. Never causes trouble. Jetzt habe ich dich. Juniper, you start coughing when you're under stress. You can't hide it from me, no matter how hard you try. When you said and never causes trouble, a cough escaped and made your scarf flutter. As for why you were stressed, it's because you were lying. Junie, you're trying to hide Hugh's connection to this case, aren't you? And I believe that also ties into a secret about yourself. A, a secret? About me? I don't understand. I already told Juniper, so I might as well tell you. I don't really care about her anymore. What? Why? Juniper's not all sunshine and rainbows like you think she is. He ended their friendship after he found out about Juni's secret. Which means, you must felt betrayed by Juni. 
Making her... Falls man euch noch daran erinnern kann, was Robin da Schönes erwähnt hat, von wegen über den Spitzel, der hier durch die Schule geht, das Geheimnis dieser Spitzel ist Juniper. You were Professor Court's snitch, weren't you? There's a rumor going around that one of the students here is a snitch. I hear they're watching everything we do. Our activities, our relationships, our interests. And reporting it all to one of the professors. And while fulfilling that role, you learned something about you you'd rather forget. I don't know what you're talking about. Junie, please, stop hiding things from me. I hate having to, having to force things out of you like this. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way. Time to review the evidence and see if I can't prove my hip... I can prove my hypothesis. I must have something that proves Junie's the snitch and use connection to the case. So, ja, ein Beweis, der belegt, dass sie dieser Spitzel ist. Gucken wir uns mal den Planer an. Die Routine Report. Need to speak with you, Connor. Das hört sich doch schon spitzelig an. <lacht> Komisches Wort, aber... Wird Zeit, jetzt den Nadel auf den letzten Nadel auf den Sarg zu schlagen. Es tut mir wirklich leid, aber es ist vorbei. Right here in Professor Cord's planner, it says Routine Report. I believe this is meant to mean when the snitch would report into Professor Cord. I also believe Professor Cord plans to meet you in private base on the snitch's info. And from their meeting, you must put two and two together and fit it out your secret. So you see, it all makes sense only if you're the snitch, Juni. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me, Sina. I... I... I've never been lying to you this whole time. The truth is, I... I suspected you from the start. You did? Now this is surprising. I'm so sorry. I've talked about friendship so much, but I've been a terrible friend. Juniper, I don't have that special kind of hearing that Athena does. But I don't need to sense the pain you're feeling inside. And its intensity is directly proportional to how you feel about your friend. Am I right? Apollo! Please, Juni, tell me why you suspected you. I have a feeling that will be the key to getting to the bottom of this whole case. Es tut mir selber im Herzen weh, Juniper so weinen zu sehen. Echt ohne Scheiß. Vielleicht bin ich auch wieder zu überemotional, but seriously. Hier kommen gerade selbst die Tränen. What exactly was your role as class snitch? Professor Court has told me how Academy alumni had strayed from the path of justice. The dark age of the law, huh? She didn't want any more of our students going astray like that. But few others at the Academy shared her view. I thought her ideas were beautiful. Though sad and unrealistic. She asked you to be her eyes and ears, didn't she? 
used to report to her once a month about any wrongdoings I'd seen or heard about. And that report session in her planner, the one from October 2022nd, was a part of that? Yes, that's when I reported you to Professor Court. She snitched on her own friend? Warum? I had accidentally overheard you talking. What did you hear? He was talking to someone on the phone. I think it was one of his parents. What were they talking about? Something about having paid money for good test scores. I only overheard him talking, so I never did find out who the money was going to. What? That's bribery! He was buying his way through school, and if that's the case... Then that evidence that always seemed out of place might actually be about his secret. Das wäre dann... Moment. Um, jetzt muss ich gerade selber gucken. Das wäre das da. We found this while we were investigating the stage. It's got Yu's name on it. I didn't know what the number meant at the time, but now that I'm hearing about bribes, it must mean that a bribe of 120 grand was to be paid in October. What's more, take a look at this mark! That same mark is on the pages of Professor Court's planner. Hey, you're right! Wait, but why would Professor Court have that kind of information in her planner? You don't really think the person who was taking the bribe money was... It's just a possibility at this point. But it may indeed have been Professor Court. But, but, but... That is impossible. She'd been the last person I'd ever suspect of accepting bribes. Like I said, it's just a possibility. But a rather good one. Maybe the private talk had to do with the possibility of the bribery being exposed. And what started out as a little argument soon got out of hand. It's not your fault, Junie. Anybody would have suspected you if they knew what you knew. No! I don't believe that alone would have driven him to murder. There's another reason why I suspected you. You've got to be kidding me! There's another reason? Oh god. I saw you around 7 p.m. the day before the mock trial. Oh, so she's finally ready to talk about that. When I... when I saw him, his... his... Uh, Fina! Johnny, are you alright? Just try to relax and tell me what happened. I, I never wanted to see what I did. But I'll have to live with it, won't I? In that hallway, Hugh's hand. His hands were dripping with blood. Hands were dripping with blood. What? But why? What am I going to do? Deep down, I know you can't be the killer. My mind keeps telling me he is. No matter how hard I try to convince myself, he isn't. What am I going to do? You, you, he's. I, I can't take this anymore. Fina! So she hid the fact that she had seen you and said she went home at 6 because. she wanted to avoid talking about what she saw. Junie, it must have been terrible holding all of that in. But it's going to be okay. I'll get to the bottom of this. 
And that's my promise from one good friend to another. I'll be defending Juniper tomorrow. If that's okay with you, Professor Means. Hmm, heute esse ich mal Uruguay. My main concern is whether you can defeat that prosecutor. But I won't try to stop you. I will be watching from the gallery. And shall look forward to seeing what sort of results your methods can produce. Jäger! Good luck tomorrow. Now, if you would excuse me. Lena, I'm sorry. I really mean it. I wish I had trusted you from the start. You have to uncover the truth tomorrow. I know you can do it. Don't worry. We already know that the prosecution's key piece of evidence is a fake. And thanks to you, we figured out the motive too. Let's give this our best shot, Athena. Let tomorrow be the day Juniper walks free. I wouldn't have it any other way. We should be all ready now. What could possibly go wrong this time? Still, there's this strange, uneasy feeling I can't shake. I'd better be imagining things. Ja, besser, wenn, wir, wenn das jetzt einfach nur Dings. Safe gain und ab. Oh Mann. Jetzt trieft meine Nase schon wieder. Ach oh Gottchen. Oh, über die emotionale Seite. Kann sich jetzt endlich wieder beruhigen, bitte. Danke. Ja, jetzt noch die Verhandlung anfangen. Oh, ich weiß nicht. Kann man jetzt eigentlich schon wieder beenden? Ich habe doch gesagt, dieser Part wird wieder lang. Aber okay. <lacht> Dann haben wir das aus der Welt geschafft und einen doch wieder recht perfekten Cut, sagen wir mal. Oh boy. Es reicht zum Nachdenken an, ne? Ah. Vielleicht ist das, das der, deshalb der Grund, warum ich die, diese Episode auch so toll finde. Es einfach diese Thematik von wegen Freundschaft. Hm. Naja. Egal ob positiv oder negativ, Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Das war's von meiner Seite und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Wenn es dann heißt, dass wir die Verha letzte Verhandlung, also jetzt den letzten Tag dieser Verhandlung, antreten. Sehr geil.